Hi, this is Kim. Thanks for clicking on the video. You know, most people think Parkinson's is just about tremors and stiffness, but did you know it can also cause people to act out their dreams or make them lose their sense of smell years before any other symptoms appear? Today, we're diving into the weirdest, most unexpected symptoms of Parkinson's disease. Some of these might surprise you, even if you know someone with Parkinson's. Uh, many of these may seem unrelated to the disease, but there's proof that some of them are precursors to the full-blown Parkinson's disease diagnosis. So the first one, number one, is acting out dreams, REM sleep behavior disorder. Now imagine physically acting out your dreams, punching, kicking, even jumping out of bed. This is called REM sleep Dif behavior disorder, RBD. And it happens because Parkinson's affects the brainstem, which is responsible for keeping the body still during dreams. In a normal sleep cycle, our muscles are temporarily paralyzed while dreaming. But in Parkinson's, this mechanism starts breaking down, allowing people to physically move while dreaming, sometimes in violent or dangerous ways. Interestingly, this can appear years or even decades before any motor symptoms like tremors, um, making it an early warning sign for some patients. Number two, losing the sense of smell. Anosmia is what that's called. Uh, ever wonder why someone with Parkinson's might not notice the smell of their morning coffee? A reduced or complete loss of smell is one of the earliest signs of Parkinson's disease. This happens because Parkinson's causes damage to the olfactory bulb, which is the part of the brain that processes smell. In fact, researchers believe that a loss of smell could be one of the first indicators of the disease, appearing years or even decades before movement symptoms begin. Anosmia isn't just an inconvenience. It can affect appetite, nutrition, even safety, because it makes it harder to detect spoiled food or gas leaks. Number three, uncontrollable tiny handwriting, mycographia. If your handwriting suddenly becomes super small and cramped, it could be a Parkinson's symptom. This is called micrographia, and it happens due to the loss of fine motor control. The brain normally sends signals to the hand to control movement, but in Parkinson's, these signals become weaker and less precise. This leads to writing that starts normal but gets progressively smaller and more cramped. It's frustrating because patients often feel like they're writing normally, even when their handwriting is shrinking on the page. Weird symptom number four is freezing mid-step. Imagine you're walking and suddenly your feet get glued to the ground. This is called freezing of gait, and it makes simple movements, like stepping over a threshold, nearly impossible. This happens because Parkinson's disrupts the brain's ability to coordinate movement transitions. The signals that tell your legs to keep moving don't go through properly, causing a temporary stall in motion. Freezing is often triggered by stress, tight spaces, or distraction, and can lead to falls, making it one of the most dangerous symptoms of Parkinson's. Interestingly, rhythmic cues like music or stepping over a visual line can help patients unfreeze and start moving again. Number five, feeling like you're falling forward propulsion. Some people with Parkinson's walk with a hunched over posture, making them feel like they're constantly falling forward. This is called propulsion, and it happens because the disease affects postural reflexes and balance control. The brain has trouble adjusting the body center of gravity, leading to a walking pattern where the upper body moves forward faster than the legs can keep up. This increases the risk of falling forward, which is why Parkinson's patients often need physical therapy and mobility aids to stay safe. Symptom number six, skin and sweating issues. Parkinson's doesn't just affect movement. It also disrupts the autonomic nervous system, which controls things like sweating and skin moisture. Some patients experience excessive sweating, even when they're not hot while others may stop sweating altogether, making it very hard to regulate body temperature. Some people also develop oily or flaky skin, especially on the face, due to changes in how the body controls oil production. Number seven, Parkinson's mask. This is explained as a loss of facial expressions. 
People with Parkinson's sometimes lose the ability to show emotions on their face, even if they're happy or sad. This is called facial masking, and it happens because of stiffness in the facial muscles. The disease affects the muscle control needed for small, subtle facial movements, making expressions less animated. Unfortunately, this can lead to misunderstandings. People may assume a Parkinson's patient is uninterested or unfriendly, when in reality they're just struggling to move their facial muscles. Parkinson's is full of surprises, some of them pretty strange, but understanding these symptoms can help patients and caregivers prepare for what's ahead. If you've learned something new today, make sure you hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos on Parkinson's that I will be creating in the future. If you or a loved one has Parkinson's, let's keep the conversation going. Drop a comment below with your experiences. Thanks so much.